Well, howdy, and look at this. I'm out here in the garage with another snowblower. This one is a John Deere 1032D. This is a 10 horsepower, 32 inch, uh, pretty serious snowblower. Um, it does pretty good, but it's got a few problems. It, I got it used and um, it needs a new starter, which I have on order and I'll be putting that in later. But it's also not running very well and I believe that the carburetor <clears throat> needs to be either cleaned or be replaced. I'll probably be replacing it once I can get the actual model number for the engine. It is a t uh, Tecumseh 10 horsepower engine. I just want to make sure that I get the right carburetor for it. Now the carburetor is under this shield so I'm going to be taking that off. Alright, I have to admit I looked this up uh, last night to find out where the carburetor was in this engine because I wasn't really sure. Uh, this is held on by the two screws here and the bolt up here. So let's go ahead. Oh, sneaky, there's another one over here. It's going to be a little bit of a pain to put back in. <clears throat> there we go. Pull off the choke knob. And take out the key. There we go. Oh, she's looking awful. Look at that. Looks like that hasn't been uh, hasn't been cleaned for a very long time. And what I'd like to do is I would like to take off this bowl without taking off the whole carburetor. I just like to leave this on for now because it's most likely has nothing to do with uh, the actual, it's probably got to do with, with the jet. I mean, if you've seen my last snow blower video from how many years ago now, uh, it's most likely going to be that the jet needs cleaning, that this hasn't been cleaned for a while. I will spray some uh, carb cleaner into the the whole throttle body and you know get some cleaning done there but I want to get this out first. So I went over and I shut off the gas at the gas tank. There's a fuel shut off on this engine which is nice. Now let's just find the right wrench and take off the bowl. Well, this turns out to be a half inch. I don't know if you can see in there, but that gas is pretty gross. That's all accumulated uh, crap from um, ethanol gasoline, where it's just it's been left in for so long that it's just varnished. It's a pretty standard carburetor. Well, this is the gasket ring that goes in and it's pretty crusty. 
And it's just varnish that's built up in there. Wow. Well, I was hoping to be able to reuse this. I'll see if I still can. All right, I'm trying to get a good image of this for you that is actually in focus. There we go. Okay, if you see, there's a small hole in there just above the base and right below the threads. You want to make sure that that hole is not clogged because that's part of what lets the gas through. Well, that is what lets the gas through from the carburetor bowl. So what I'm going to do is take and blast some carburetor cleaner through it. Yeah, there's one on each side. Now you can also run a small wire through there. You don't want to enlarge the hole, but you do want to uh, make sure that it is clear and running freely. This one is. And a little change of scenery. What I'm going to do is try and take out the piece that is in here if I can. I'm not sure that this is if it has got well, I don't think it does. All right well I may have to just try this without taking it apart which um, you know I would have to take it off and do a lot more thorough cleaning of it uh, if I can just get it running for a while, then I can probably um, make sure that it is, you know, get it, make sure that it can at least start and run when I need it uh, while I wait for a new, new carburetor to come in. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to spray some more carburetor cleaner in here in the throttle body itself and more or less hope that that, uh, that will fix it or give it a little bit more oomph when it's trying to run. Well, first I want to put this back in. I'm going to keep a little drain plug doohickey out here. You don't have to smash this on tight. It just really needs to be on tight enough to keep the bowl on. Which fine. All right, so it wasn't a complete failure. Um, I think I'm going to replace the carburetor. I don't think it's worth trying to put any any more money into it because I would have to get a new gasket anyway for the carburetor bowl. And I mean, the, the carburetor itself is less than $20 online. So I think I'm just going to order it and get it in and then swap it out because for the price, I don't think it's worth trying to put a whole lot of work into this. So. For now, 
Just going to button her back up and get on with life. So I want to make sure that this is... connected back up to that ground pin. Got to go back on here. More than anything, what I really wanted was to make sure that it would actually start when I wanted to go start it next time. The starter isn't working, so I have to use the pull starter and it was not starting for me earlier so uh hopefully cleaning the carburetor out because that was that was one of the dirtiest carburetors i've ever seen uh cleaning it out a little bit will help with that it still is surging on idle that's that's another yeah it would it would mean a carburetor rebuild and it's just easier to get a new carburetor so uh gonna do that we'll have a follow-up on installing a new carburetor so Hey, until then, see you guys.